Howdy y'all, my name is Natalie, also known as Our Daily Stitches. You can find me here on YouTube and also on Instagram, also as Our Daily Stitches. And I just want to say firstly, welcome and thank you to everyone who suffered through my first video um, with me. I did have a few technical difficulties. Um, I am hoping that, these, that, that they'll be fixed this time. Um, I changed the video record, or my husband, I should say, changed the video recording settings because the camera, um, it switched off a couple of times due not, not due to like low battery or anything, but just, um, I, I don't know, he knows about that stuff. He was like, oh, we'll switch it to this different video setting and this should fix it. So I'm hoping that it's fixed. Um, so yeah. <laughs> I figured I wanted to do this um, video not as like a normal floss tube, but just as kind of a stash dive to show you guys the um, the patterns that I have and um, some of the things that I have kitted up as well. And I do have some knitting and yarn stash um, to go through, but I will save that for the end so that those of you that just want a cross stitch, like we can go through all of that first. And then if you want to stick around for the knitting, you can. Or if that's not your thing and you want to peace out at that point, that's also totally fine too. So um, without further ado, I would like to show you guys the projects that I have um, that are kitted up and that I could start if I wanted to, but I also have um, 20 works in progress currently, so I don't think I need any more new starts right now. Um, I say as I, I do have a new start planned for later in October, but... Um, it's a surprise. I'll, I'll get to that a bit later, um, a couple weeks from now, probably. Um, I have a piece of 40 count vintage country mocha with the called for DMC, as well as this like the red works floss that's up here. It's kind of like a um, orange and yellow modeled color or not modeled, but variegated color. And this is for a Kathy Barrick pattern and I believe it's called Farmhouse Halloween. I'll have to check that and if not I will um, put it in the description box below and I'm also going to try to figure out how to add in pictures um, because this is a PDF pattern that I have and so I will try to figure out how I can add in a picture of it hopefully around here somewhere. Um, so that you guys can see what it will look like but I have all the floss and thread for that and I need to move the DMC um, that I have for this because I actually have created a master set of DMC. So this is all of the DMC that I currently have. Um, it's not a master set as in the sense of it has every single color that DMC produces, but this is one of every color that I have. And the reason that I did this is because I realized that I keeping the DMC with each project this is all the duplicate DMC that I had. <laughs> so every single color that is in these bags, these are extras. These are all ones where I, you know, I had a skein in another bag and I needed that color for a different project. And because I wasn't working off of like a master set, I would go out and buy a whole another skein of that um, color for that project. And I mean, DMC is not super expensive, but like that's, this is, this is a lot. So, um, yeah, hopefully now that I'm like being more organized with it, I, I made a whole like Excel spreadsheet, um, that has all of the numbers that I have and the schemes of each number that I have as well. So hopefully that will be, um, better in the future I'll be able to actually work through and use all of one bobbin before I move on to the next um, bobbin of thread so yeah that'll be better. Um, the next thing that I have kitted up is Heartstring Samplery's Let Our Gladness Biscornu. I love these Biscornus. She has multiples of them. Um, she has a few different patterns and I want all of them. Um, the one thing I did change about, or I want to change about this though, is um, this has like green, red, and black. I replaced the um, the red with this. Um, oh come on, it's it's not. It's almost like a blue bonnet color or like a blueberry color. Let me take it out real quick. It's not showing up super great. Um, this is the gentle art blueberry. 
And so I'm going to use this color for um, for the flowers and the berries and things. So yeah, this is just a really pretty, again, like purpley. It, it reminds me of blue bonnets, so I'll be using that. And the other two threads, I am using the Call of Four Weeks Dye Works. And I have this with a piece of, I believe, 40 cam... 30? I want to say it's 32 or 36 count lamb's wool back here. Yeah. I love all of her biscorn. <laughs> They're beautiful. This will be another one that I will try to insert a picture here of what it actually looks like. But this um, is for Dragonfly Tile from Chatelaine. Um, and I have all of the Delica beads. This has a lot of beads. The tiles that Chatelaine does um, have a lot of beads with them. And then this one does have some um, silk lame braid and petite treasure braid as well as a, um, a skein of water lilies, which I love this color right here. It's like, it's very lagoon-like. And for this one, I just have 28 count weave and weave. It's nothing special. And you guys can see, I have some very, um, very, some artisanally constructed project bags here. Um, these are really, really difficult to find. Um, you know, the rare hefty bags slash Ziploc bags, depending on which project you're looking at. I do have a couple project bags, but, um, yeah, Ziploc bags are cheap and easy to use. And yes, I will probably always have at least some projects in Ziploc bags. Um, you know, it's it's fine. <laughs> that's that's what I do. <laughs> um, so that one I actually got before I started, before I even had the stuff for Palmarium Mandala because I said, oh, well, I'll try one of the smaller designs first. Um, one of the smaller chatelaines to make sure that I enjoy stitching them before I jump, um, you know, off the deep end into something like Pomerium, which is gigantic. And then my husband got me Pomerium for Christmas and I jumped into that and I still haven't started the one that I originally got. Um, so that is there. This next one is Virginie Grimois. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, this is from GGR, and this is another, this is a beautiful altar sampler. I love altar samplers so much. You can see they have like the, they have the monstrance on the altar right there, and it's just, ugh, it's beautiful. See the tabernacle? Ugh, I love it. And I actually, I have a piece of fabric and the call of four thread for this, and I actually started this and then ripped it out. Um, I started it on a darker fabric that I now am, that I now have Halloween Fairy and Witch in the Cauldron in. Um, I just, it was just a bit too dark. Uh, I just, I didn't particularly like how the, um, how like these gold, these gold colors were showing up on it. Um, because if you look at the front, like this, I don't know if you guys can see this, but like this right here where it says Virginie Grimoire, this is like a very, very light yellow, um, like a very bright yellow color. And I thought, oh, that would look so pretty on like a cocoa colored fabric. Um, but when I actually got in the called for a floss, again, it's very much like, it's a lot of darker gold colors. Like none of it is super bright. Um, and so I wanted, so a lot of those colors were blending in with my fabric. And um, yeah, so I ripped it out and I got just like a 40 count piece of lamb's wool that I put with it. I don't know if this is the fabric that I'm going to actually use for it, but it is my placeholder right now, I guess. Um, I'll look at it a bit more closely at some, um, at some point and see if this is actually what I really want to use for it. Um, Next, we have Mary Jane Fry, and this is a freebie, and I will link um, this pattern in the description. I love this. 
It's such a sweet little pattern. And this is another one that I have um, my DMCs with that I need to take these out and put them in my master set. Um, but yeah, this is on 40 Count Country Mocha Newcastle Women. Um, and again, I have all the DMCs for it. It only calls for like, what, six colors? Um, yeah, that's, that's beautiful. I love this one. I love the, the deep, um, kind of plummy cranberry red colors that are in that. This next one that I have is a kit from a Russian company, and I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, but there is the name if you want to, uh, <laughs> you want to look for that. I got this on eBay, I believe. This is called Thunderstorm. I love this, and this is full coverage as well. And it comes with all the thread, and I believe a 14 count Ada, I, I want to say. So yeah, this, is a, this is a thick amount of, I don't know if I can accurately get across the like chonkiness of all of this thread back here. It's, it's a lot of thread. Um, but it, I, I opened it um, at one point and like looked at it and almost started it, but I was like, no, I don't need to start a giant project, but I do. Um, I, this would this will probably replace after I finish Woman in the Garden by Realist because that is a full coverage kit. This would probably replace that one when I finish that. Um, okay, so those are all the things that I have fully kitted up that are ready to start. Um, I'll start getting into uh, things that I don't have kitted up and that I might just have fabric, just have floss, have absolutely nothing for it. Um, you know, it just depends on the project. Um, this I actually won in a giveaway from Nod's X Stitch, which I will link her channel in the description below. Um, this is Returning by Textured Treasures. I think I might try to do this in like a red and cream instead of a blue and cream, just because most of our um, most of the things in our apartment, um, we're kind of going for like red, warm colors um, in our apartment, and so I will probably. Um, change the colors on this but it's so beautiful and this is needle point which I've never done before uh, I've done specialty stitches on like my shadowing and things but I've never done needle point so um ooh, it's flopping over um I would really like to try this at some point so this will be fun when I get around to it I'm just making it this pile is going to be like this high by the time I get finished um all right, um, this was one of the ones I showed in my last video from Needlework Expo, so I won't say too much about it, but this is Chubby Bird by Jeanette Douglas. Um, I love this little tart finish. I want to try to do a tart finish like this with um, with this one, and this might come out during the spring because it reminds me of spring with a little bird and this little, I don't know, sprig of flowers and acorns. It's really cute. Um, this next one is, this was the first Blackbird Designs that I bought and I still haven't stitched it. Um, this is Garden Club Series number one, Basket of Cherries, again by Blackbird Designs. I love the colors in this one. I love the light blue and those beautiful berries in the basket. I love the berry, the berries in the basket motif everywhere. Um, there was one, it was Heart, what was it, Heartstring Samplery and another designer, I forget who, collaborated on doing like a whole sampler that had baskets of berries in it. And I can't remember the name of it right now, but I, I want that one so much. It was on like two different colors of linen and it was kind of a friendship sampler where you would stitch one half and another person would stitch the other half and then you'd probably very painstakingly sew the linen together by hand so that it all matched up. Um, I love that, again, that basket of cherries right there is just, mm, it's delicious. This next one was another um, Needlework Expo release, Mary Barton's work by Mojo Stitches. Again, I love that bird. I don't know what type of bird that is, but I like it. I love the, um, the flowers underneath it. I love his little like crest that he has on his head, that little like red crest right there super cute and for those um actually for a blackbird i do have a um 
a very small piece of vintage vintage country mocha that I'll probably do it on after I get done dropping things on the floor. <laughs> but yeah, so I'll probably do that one on. Uh, all right, so this is Autumn is a Second Spring by Annie B's Folk Art, and it says Autumn is a Second Spring when every leaf is a flower. And again, there's a basket. There's a basket of berries right there, so uh, you know I'll love it. Um, I love the little squirrels and the little acorns and everything. So yeah, this one is cute. This is another Needlework Expo, Bristol Berries 3 by Erica Michaels. Love the samplers, love this one right here, especially oh, with the little Bible on it. It's adorable. These next ones that I have are from Heartstring Samplery, and these are from her Sunday Stitches pack. Um, her Sunday Stitches series, and I did not get all of them, but I got ones that had um, some of my favorite hymns on them, and I am waiting on one, uh, <laughs> I can't remember the name of the hymn, but I believe it's, um, I believe the lyric on the pattern is Dreams of Mercy, Never Ceasing Call for Songs of Loudest Praise. I believe I could be wrong, <laughs> but I'm waiting on that one. I've had that pre-order in for like a little bit over a month now, but I pre-ordered it with Needlework Book of Days, and I know the seller is still waiting on those, so hopefully I'll get that, um, that in soon. But this one is Abide With Me. This has to be one of my absolute favorite hymns. I love this one. Hold thou thy cross before my closing eyes. Shine through the gloom and point me to the skies. Love it. Um, this next one is It Is Well With My Soul. Whatever my lot, thou has taught me to say it as well. It is well with my soul. Love this one. I'm thinking about doing like um, pillow finishes with these and putting them all in like a basket or something like that. Because um, I have four of them with the fifth one on the way. And I'm too, so we'll see. All right. Be thou my vision. Thou my best thought by day or by night. Waking or sleeping, thy presence my life. I love, and I love the flowers on this. They remind me of morning glories. Um, we used to have a fence in my um, my childhood home, which uh, my parents do not live in anymore, but we used to have a, um, a, I used to have like a little playhouse type thing in the backyard and we had a little fence around it that had morning glories planted on um, all around it. And the morning glories, you know, they kind of like grow up and onto the fence and things. And, um, I used to go out there early in the mornings and you could see all the, all the little morning glories open and beautiful, um, the little blue and white blossoms. Um, yeah, I, I love morning glories. They're beautiful. Um, this one was, I think the first one that she released and please don't laugh at my little tape right here. Um, so this was a mistake by me because, um, the seller that I bought this from, they shipped it in a mailer that was a bit snug. Um, and so they had to bend this top part back over it to fit it in the mailer. And I should not have tried to cut the mailer, but I did. And I ended up like cutting this top part off. And I didn't cut like the actual pattern, but I did end up cutting this little um, piece um, here. So yeah, I, uh, I taped it back together as best I could. Um, and again, this was, I think, her first one that she came out with this year, which is Amazing Grace. Yeah, Twas Grace have, hath brought me safe thus far, and Grace will lead me home. I love this one. Oop, I'm getting glare again. Okay, there we go. I actually have a viewfinder this time, so I can actually see what I'm showing you guys, because I am using, again, my husband's very complicated camera, <laughs> and, um, yeah, he, he showed me how to do it. I guess I have my phone underneath my camera now, so now I can see, um, I can actually see what I'm showing you guys, which is very helpful. Um, next I have Cottage Garden Sampling's Peace on Earth. And I do have the fabric for this one, which is a 32 count French rain, I believe. And this pattern I actually got as a little bit of an accident. Um, I had ordered 
um, the Peace on Earth sampler, which is one of my whips. Um, it's the one that has that quote. Um, why am I blanking on it? <laughs> I heard the bells on Christmas Day, their old familiar carols play. Um, wild and sweet their words repeat, pe pe um, peace on earth, goodwill to men, that one. Um, that one is also made by cottage garden samplings or designed by cottage garden samplings. And the only difference between that one and this one is besides the actual design um, word wise is that that one has the word sampler after it and this one doesn't. And when I ordered this off of 123 Stitch, they actually sent me this one instead of the sampler one. And they were extremely nice and their customer service was great. Um, they just said, you know, oh, you can keep this one um, and we'll send you the right one. And so now I have both of them. Um, I have this one, which I, I love this one too, it's sweet. Um, and I, this fabric was something that didn't work out for another pattern. Um, I had bought it for a different pattern, but I didn't end up liking it, so. I stuck it with this one because I thought, well, that looks like basically the perfect um, color for it. So I'll just stick it there and that'll be fine. All right, so I have um, Silver Creek Samplers, my Christmas list. I first saw this on um, Stitching with the Housewives, Priscilla and Chelsea. I think I'm going to try and do it on like a vintage country mocha as long as like I can get things like, you know, like the turkey and this like turkey dressing and the deer and all that stuff to show up well because I don't think the white shows up as well as I want it to on the called for fabric that they show but again this is this is sweet all the you know different things the mistletoe and the hot cocoa and the pies and cookies and plus patterns like this that have a lot of text seem to go really fast and they seem to be like really nice um quicker stitches so I'm looking forward to this All right, um, I have the Blue Flower Wildflowers. This says, buttercups have honeyed hearts. Bees, they love the clover, but I love the daisies dance all the meadow over. And this is just called Wildflowers. I love this little like delicate flower border and then all the beehives underneath it. They're so pretty. And this is charted um, all in, D in DMC with the Zweigart linen. So I will probably do it in probably everything called for because those are easy materials to get my hands on. But, so that one is sweet. I believe that was a expo release from spring. I believe. Um, this one is the Scarlet House Little Deeds Sampler. I love this quote again. Little deeds of kindness, little words of love make our earth an Eden like the heaven above. I do think I'm going to change it a bit. And I don't know, there are multiple samplers that use that quote right there, right? That That's on at least like four samplers that I've seen. But, and I don't know if I, if I read this on one of those other samplers or if it just doesn't sound right in my brain, but instead of make our earth and Eden like the heaven above, in my brain, I want to say make our earth and Eden like heaven up above instead of like the heaven above, like heaven up above. And that just, I don't know, it just sound, it flows better to me. And I don't know, again, if I, I might have seen a different wording of this quote on another sampler and that might be where I got it from or maybe it's just my brain being weird. But either way, I probably will change it to that. But um. Yeah, I love it, and I love this little this little flower basket right here. It's really pretty too. So, and this calls for what is this call for? Classic color works and weak style works. Probably do the call for threads on that. This is another one, and you'll probably hear me say this about every sampler that has a quote on it. Um, if a sampler has a quote on it, I really have to enjoy it and really love that quote. And sometimes, like this next one, the quote is really the main like star of the show. It says, give me a house that will never decay and garments that will never wear away. Give me a friend that will never depart. Give me a ruler that can rule in my heart. And this is a give me a friend from Rosewood Manor. And like, I, I like the border and things on this and the flowers, but it's not the main part, right? Like that quote is definitely the star of the show. It's the star of the show. You can't. <laughs> You can't deny that, so this, yeah. I, I just, I love that quote. I think it's so sweet. 
Um, I have a few drawn thread patterns as well. This first one, I got this a long time ago, like at least probably like two and a half years ago. Um, this is the Garden Gate by the Drawn Thread. And this was the pattern that I had originally gotten that French rain linen for and didn't like quite how dark it was because it didn't look as dark as it was in the picture when I ordered it. Um, but this says that those who enter through this gate come never too early nor stay too late. And again, I love that. It's just, it's going to be a hunt. Um, I think I actually saw um, Jessie Marie Does Stuff ha showed a project that was on Friendship Green Linen by um, Hand Dyed by Stephanie. And that looked like a perfect color for this, honestly, like a very muted light green color. Um, and so that might be the color that I try or something similar that I try to get to stitch this on eventually. All right, another drawn thread. This is Small Things. This is definitely going to be one that I substitute um, threads for though. Because this one calls for nine colors of dinky dyes, which for something this cute and small, like I might get an over dyed for, um, for the bird, like the brown and the bird and then the red and the breast of the bird and the word love. Um, maybe like a dark green, but I don't, I am not, I'm not buying nine skeins of silk to stitch this. <laughs> so yeah, um, this one again is just sweet, do small things with great love. And I could definitely see that as like a small little pillow finish or like in a little tray or something. So I will, I do have a piece of linen that I could start that on. It's not with that particular piece, but I have some extra um, 32 count antique white from last year's um, linen and threads stitch along. I did the mystery stitch along for linen and threads last year and I have a little bit of extra fabric from that that I could definitely stitch something small and cute like that on. This next one is the Cloister Garden and this is an older drawn thread pattern. And the only thing, I got this off of eBay, and the only thing that it did not come with, it did not come back, come with the fabric or the little bee charm. There's a bee charm like, oh, where is it? Like right there, if you guys can see that, I don't know. Um, but it does come with the silk for it. Um, which this is really nice because if you were to have to buy like all of these different colors of silk, it would probably cost a lot. But since it comes as like this little kit, um, I, I don't even remember. I think I paid like $7 for this, the pattern and the thread or something like that. But I love this one. Rosemary for Remembrance. Time for Courage. Cherville for Sincerity. Marjoram for Modesty. The tansy for a long life. But yeah, this is a sweet one. I love it. This was a, ooh, see they're already sliding off. My stack is getting too big. They're sliding off. Um, this was another Needlework Expo D Fry Tog by From the Heart. Again, I love this rosary. I am a sucker. I love I love the colors on this one and I love the rose wreath. I am a sucker for things with beautiful flower motifs on them, definitely. And now I have my Mirabilia stash, which is just four patterns. Um, two of these are out of print. This first one is one of the out of print ones. This is Ashley's Roses. Um, I got her off of eBay. She is beautiful. Um, her dress with the gingham kind of on the bottom, the reddish pink and the blue gingham kind of looking um, under layers of her dress remind me of a picnic table. I love like the rose boughs up here. Um, yeah, she reminds me of summer. She will probably, after I finish my summer queen eventually, <laughs> um, she will probably replace my summer queen for like my, um, my summery, light as kindred stitcher would say my blonde mirabilia um so she'll probably replace her at some point after i finish her though i already have 
you know, I already kind of have a blonde and a, br and a brunette Mirabilia because I have Halloween Fairy, which is technically not an Aura Corbett and um, actually, or sorry, not technically a, it's not a Mirabilia, it is a Nora Corbett, which it's the same designer, it's just that the Nora Corbettes are generally smaller um, than her big Mirabilias. But again, sweet summer lady, roses everywhere, gorgeous. Um, this is my other out of print one. This is Rose Celebration. I got this off of eBay as well. And as you can see, I, where is it? I definitely got um, upcharged this. It looks like this person got this at like, you know, a charity shop or something thrift store for like $7. I think I paid like $30, $40 for this um, on eBay, but worth it. <laughs> I love her. This is an older one of um, the Mirabellias and I, I love her. Again, what, what is it with me and roses? I have Ashley's roses. I have Rose Celebration. <laughs> um, I, lo I love pink too. I love the pinks in those. Um, this girl is White Christmas. And this one is in print so you can get her for a relatively cheap if you want. Uh, I love this the window behind her. It looks like a cathedral window. Um, this in particular reminds me of me and my parents. Um, we, oh, what am I looking for? We go to Midnight Vigil Mass um, on Christmas Eve a lot. And she reminds me of that. She reminds me of Midnight Mass on Christmas Eve. And I love the treasures. I have all of the treasures and things that come with her. So like, look at like this, this sweet little, um, I don't know if you can. This sweet little snowflake. I, yeah, I love her. And I have all of the, um, I'm not going to take all of these out, but I have like all of the beads and things um, that she uses. The only thing that I did not, that I forgot to get for her was um, she is supposed to have whisper thread, um, I believe on like this, like fur, the white fur on her, um, I don't know, is that a, I guess it's kind of like a, it almost looks like an outer cloak or something. But like right here, she's supposed to have whisper thread there and I forgot to get that. So that's just another excuse to order more patterns, right? Because I won't just be able to order like one thread. Like you you just can't do that, right? So I'll have to order Whisper Thread from 123 Stitch and a few patterns will probably also end up coming with that. Um, so yeah, we'll see. Um, this is Madonna of the Garden. I love her, um, her flower not flower crown, but like flower. Yeah, I guess flower crown, it's beautiful. Um, I love this, I love that fruit in like the very bottom. All this like, just this bounteous vibe that you got going on with all of the, um, all the vines and the fruit and these like vibrant deep orange, pink, blue colors. And this one I also saw Nod's ex stitch do, and I believe she gifted it to her mom. Um, this one, I will not be gifting this one. will be staying with me. Um, and again, have not started her yet. Yet. All right. This next one is um, by Soda Stitch. And this is Grandma's Garden. Again, I told y'all I... I love all cross stitch, including like, I actually love super cutesy stuff like this. Like you just have this sweet old grandma with her carrots and her radishes and these cute little gardening sheds. Um, they're just, they're adorable. So I have her and this is all DMC. Um, and I don't know what color I'll stitch it on. I'll probably do, I do like the green that they have on the background, but I would probably just do like a white or cream color because I'm boring like that, <laughs> but yeah, I, I love her. It's just a sweet, cutesy one. Um, the next one, again, I will try and figure out how to put pictures in for these, um, the ones that are PDF patterns and that I don't have like physical pictures to show you of what they'll look like. Uh, the next one that I would like to show you guys is hopefully I can put a picture in here of what um, Creation by Tempting Tangles looks like.
it is absolutely beautiful it looks like some kind of like old tapestry and this um is the fabric that i'd like to do it on see this is the problem with doing this um in front of the window here is that getting light shining through but it's like kind of this like modeled um there that's that's better um this like modely grungy color and i will show you guys the tag for this because i got this off of stash unloading and on facebook the um the group on facebook stash unloading but i will show you guys the tag that was attached to this so i don't think it yeah it has like the lady's information down here if you would like to um to find her But that's the fabric that I'm thinking about doing that on. Um, the next one that I have is And Be Kind to One Another by Needlework Press. This one is gorgeous. And I've seen this one stitched in the colors. Um, so like on the front, those colors, they look very like muted. And this is also beautiful, like the muted colors. But if you look at the picture, I think back, ooh, back here, it looks a lot, and I've seen people stitch this on Instagram, and it's a lot brighter. And honestly, I really like the bright colors in it. Um, it is, yeah, it's beautiful and obviously a very, you know, apt sentiment and be kind to one another. I love it. All right, I have a butterfly cloche by Hello from Liz Matthews. This one, I got this one actually, me and my husband, we went to um, the Houston Museum of Natural Sciences and they have a butterfly room, I guess. It's almost like, it's not, I wouldn't call it a greenhouse, but it's one of those like big glass dome, um, like it is kind of a greenhouse. One of those big glass domes with all the tropical plants and they had, they had a ton of butterflies is fluttering around they had an iguana too named nacho apparently um but i got this after going there just i i do i love butterflies they're they're just gorgeous oh i had that one this one was another one from um, the most recent needlework expo jesus mary and the lobster again i love that little lobster right there can barely see him he's just hanging out um yeah i also i really want to get heartstring sampler he's um consider the lilies as well i like his eyes on a sparrow as well but i like um consider the li lilies a little bit better and i don't think i want to do both of them because they are very similar they're they're different and they're both gorgeous but i don't think i'd want to do both of them so Yep, that one. And then I love that again. I'm a sucker for floral motifs. That that um little I don't know, it's not a wreath because it's not a full circle, but this little kind of, you know, U shape right there. <laughs> and I love the blue on that one too. This one. Oh, this one. Huffleberry Farm by Blue Flower. Uh, this one, I would probably I would want to do this one on maybe like a vintage country mocha. Again, I'm I'm not a huge purple person. I prefer like pink and red and stuff like that. And obviously the berries in this are purple, which I will definitely keep, but I think I'll probably tone back like the color of fabric. Um, and then the one for me, one for the basket on here is cute. Um, and I, again, I love this little bear down here where he's just like slouching, you know, bending the entire cross stitch border around this little thing to his own you know, means <laughs> he just, he doesn't care. Um, yeah, I think, I think all the colors on this would show up really well in like a vintage country mocha, I think. Um, as long as you can make sure that like these little critters and stuff can still, um, be seen on it, I think it would be great. So this is a sweet one. They're all sweet. They're all sweet and beautiful. <laughs> this is a reflet de soie, Lawrence Briquette. Um, I got this on eBay as well, but you can readily get this one, I think, pretty much anywhere. Um, and the one that I got actually came with all of these silks. Ooh. 
So I do have all of the silks for this one. Again, in my most um, my most beautiful handcrafted project bag ever, the famous you know clear Ziploc hefty bag. Um, but she is this one is beautiful. I love the I love the border. Like ooh, let's see here that border. Is gorgeous. And again, I love the flowers of the little waterfall scene, the flowers. Oh, it's like, I love it all. I have so many of the Reflet de Soie patterns on my wish list. This is the only one that I actually have, um, but there are, trust me, pretty much all of them are on my wish list of hopefully I'll get someday and hopefully I'll actually stitch someday. So the next section I have is my GGR charts. And I know I showed you um, Virginie Grimoire. And she um, is the one that I have kitted up, but I also have these ones that are just as patterns. This is Madonna and Child Sampler. Again, beautiful. I love I love all these patterns with Mary in them, and I love these baskets, um, these little flower vases over here. I love the alphabet, kind of that you know, fancy medieval um, text alphabet is also very beautiful. So I love this one. <laughs> um, my next GGR that I have is the Rose Wreath Sampler. This one does not, the picture does not do it justice at all. Like that looks, it looks sad. And then it looks so sad in the picture. Um, I have seen if some people stitch this on Instagram and I can't remember who, but the colors are so much more vibrant than what you can see in this picture. Um, it just, it doesn't do it justice. If you are interested in this one, I would highly recommend um, just like searching for it on Instagram, like hashtag rose wreath sampler or something and looking at the pictures there because they are much more beautiful um, than what you would think just looking at this picture. And this is a this is a big one too. I forget how big she is, but this is a large sampler. All right, I have a couple of hands across the seas. This one is Anton Ufendel. And again, oh, I love the border on this one and the quote Jesus permit. Um, oh, wait, this isn't even that one. Look at me. Oh, my soul, what canst thou do with eternity in view? Flee to Jesus, flee away, not tomorrow. Come today, come this moment, for to thee next may be eternity. I love this one. And there's some, like, padded satin stitch and, like, this, um, this little U again that goes around the quote. It's beautiful. I almost did this for my, um, for my New Year, New Start 20... 21 but i ended up doing bridge of power which i totally do not regret because bridge of power is beautiful um this one oh i have stuff apologies there's going to be a bit of crunching here i had my list of silk that i still need to get for this lady in front of the um, cover picture for her so I need to move that so that you all can actually see and this one is hard to find I will say this I had I got very lucky with this one and I actually found a copy of it from an Australian company that I cannot remember I don't think it might have been London and Threads maybe maybe it was Fox and Rabbit some someone that carried this Lucy Navier, 1818, and she was the 2019 Queen of the May. She is, and there's so much like embroidery on this one, which makes me kind of terrified to start it. Um, these cor this corner flower is embroidery. This, these flowers the, and the tassels, this swag across the middle. I'm pretty sure all of that is embroidery. This tree in the center is all embroidery. Um, but this is beautiful. And again, the quote, softly fall the healing sound like the dew drop on the ground. Drooping plants shall soon revive. Faith and bud begin to thrive. 
An enlarged shall soon disclose beauties of the full-blown robes. Yeah, I love her. Like I said, the only copy that I could find of her was like almost a hundred bucks on eBay until I started like searching through a bunch of other companies and paying for her plus shipping from Australia was cheaper than the cheapest one that I could find in the US. So um, that's what I ended up doing and I have her now. Um, I also, I don't have all of the threads for her because I think there's like 40 skeins of silk that you need for her but i have 10 of them i have 10 of the skeins because i started i decided you know what i'm just gonna buy these guys in like sets of 10. <laughs> so like i'll buy 10 at one point and then some other time i'll buy 10 more until i have all of them because she does she is big she will need even on i could if i did her on 40 count I could squeeze her onto a fat half, but the margins would be very, um, very um, close. So I don't think I want to do that. I want to make sure that she has good margins because this is a big one that's going to take me a long time to work through. Um, but yeah, she is, does she have, I'm sure she has a stitch count somewhere. And she is the design area is 463 by 495 stitches so on 40 count she would be about two feet by two feet um which again that's close to the dimensions that um that my long dog templar prophecy had and i did put that on a fat half but i just i want to make sure that she has a lot of border that she has a lot of um because like this is one of the ones i might consider getting professionally framed at some point after it's done um yeah so yeah wow i, I love her um so yeah i just i want to make sure she has enough room <laughs> to spread out you know probably you gotta give your samplers some room to stretch you know <laughs> you can't can't squeeze them in um all the time this um this one i went to three stitches in spring texas which is my not local needlework store but it's about and houston is about an hour and a half away from where i live um, so it's the closest one to me and this is and they send by exemplar dames design and i got i did get this there they have a gorgeous again i wish i would have taken a picture of the model they have a model stitched of this in the store and y'all it's like four feet tall it looks like it was done on like a 28 or like 32 count maybe um so it's like it's a bit of a larger count done over two but it was like four feet tall <laughs> um this is going to be one that's definitely going to require a um a full yard probably of fabric who knows maybe i could get this since the, it was it was real it was like four feet tall but it was only like eight ten inches across um and so this might maybe i could just order one yard of fabric that i like for both this one and for um lucy knob here um that could be a possibility I, I don't know though i love this one this is just one of those you know garden of eden type samplers And God made two in his image and placed them in the paradise of Eden. Evil tempted Eve with the apple. She then offered it to Adam and they sinned. That's what it, that's what it says. So yeah, I, I love that one. It's beautiful. All right, that is the end of um, the patterns that I have and I am not including all of the PDF patterns that I have because that would take a long time. Um, there are, uh, I included some of the ones that are on my radar to start. Uh, I also have a lot of like small freebie patterns um, that I've like saved, especially over the course of like COVID and stuff. Um, a lot of designers in 2020 offered like some small cute little patterns um, for people. Uh, and so I have a lot of those saved, but I'm not necessarily going to, you know, show all of those. If I start them, I will definitely show them on my normal floss tube, but 
it would take a long time for me to go through all of the PDF patterns that I have. So there are all, that was all of the physical copy patterns that I have, plus a few PDF patterns that um, I have like partly kitted up. So there you guys go. Um, the oh, the other thing I wanted to show you guys that is cross stitching related is I got this in. You guys, you guys. It's Edgar Scissor Bird. I, okay, I literally, Lindy Stitches made these last year, or I guess she didn't make them, but she like did a collaboration, I guess, with a woodworker in her area that made these. And I about died when I saw these, but last year, but I saw them too late. I saw, when, by the time I saw these, they were all, they were all sold out. And I was so sad. I was like, oh, he's so cute. I love this little scissor bird. And lo and behold, she came out with more. And I, I don't know if she still has these. Um, I bought mine, I think like about a week and a half ago and it got in a couple days ago. And I know she did have a limited quantity of these. So I do not know if she still has some or not. Um, if you want to know, go give her, um, give check out her website. I think it's just like lindystitches.com. Um, but yeah, these are, he is adorable. He has these, you have these little, and I did not order these scissors from her. I already had a pair of these scissors and you can order them with or without, um, the little stork scissors. But since I already had a pair, I, I didn't order them. Um, it saves you like two bucks if you already have a pair. Um, but yeah, you can just set your little, can't put these in the right way. There we go. Set your little scissors in there, and he is just gorgeous. I love this little guy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to get myself to, like, when I buy cross-stitch related things, to get more, like, accessories, if that makes sense. Um, things like this, things like project bags, because I do have way too many, like, obviously patterns, as well as projects that have already started. And sometimes I do just, you know, you get the urge to spend some, some money on yourself, you know, for cute things. So I'm like, instead of getting more and more and more patterns, I need to get more things that are like this, that are, you know, just cute little accessories that I can use. But that being said, I do have like two orders um, of cross-stitch patterns and things um, that I'm waiting on, so. Yeah, I, I don't know if that philosophy is necessarily working for me, but yeah, what what a sweet little bird, and he will keep me hum he will keep me company all year, but especially during Halloween, you know, I think he's sweet. I can tell I can tell myself he's a raven during Halloween, <laughs> so he'll you know fit in thematically. I mean, his name is Edgar, right? Like, it's my little Edgar Allan Poe bird. Okay, so that is all of my cross stitch stuff that I wanted to show you guys. Um, so if that is all y'all want to see, I will see you guys later. I will probably, I'm thinking about filming like another normal floss tube where I just give you guys an update, which is, I say another, I haven't really fo filmed a normal floss tube yet where I just, you know, tell you guys about what I'm working on like the past couple weeks. I think I might do that this next it won't be this next weekend. I might film it like Thursday or something or maybe Monday or Tuesday after we get back um, because we'll be gone. My husband and I will be out of town this next weekend. Um, but I might film it before that and just um, post it that weekend or something um, and kind of let y'all know what I've been working on for the past couple weeks. But that is all my cross stitch stuff that I wanted to show. Um, I will go into knitting here. So if you don't want to see that, um, I hope you enjoyed my second video. I hope you... Um, saw some things that you now have to go and stalk eBay slash one two three stitch slash you know whatever your local uh, needlework store might be to find um, and uh, have a great um, a great rest of the weekend a great rest of your day bye guys all right those of you that want to stick around for knitting here we go um, so I only have two knitting work in progresses one of them. And again, I will try to figure out the whole inserting picture thing is the Zweig sweater um, by Boyland Networks.
and this looks very small because I have it on small needles um, so it doesn't really look sweater size but I promise you it is like this is just the neck hole <laughs> um, and this lace pattern will actually um, expand a lot more let's see if I can can zoom in on that a bit so this is being done, um, this, the blue color was just a color that I got off of, um, off of Wool Warehouse, I believe. It's Cloudborn. I don't remember the colorway, but the brand was Cloudborn. Um, and then this beautiful, like, speckly tan color, um, not really tan, but like yellowy color that I have in here. This is from Hugh Loco Yarns. And the colorway is honey fur. So that's right, right there. Focus, please. Okay, there you go. <laughs> and yeah, I am about three fourths of the way through the lace yoke of this pattern. And so I'm about, yeah, I, I cannot wait until I get past the lace. I love this lace. It's beautiful. It's the reason, again, that I even am making this pattern because I mean just like look at that look at how beautiful that looks oh. but also I am ready to be through with it so that I can do more like mindless knitting and this does have a pattern um, on the body of the sweater as well but it's not as complicated as like lace work you know it's not it's not just straight knit stitch but it's also not having to, you know, yarn over, slip stitch, make one, slip stitch, yarn over, cable one, like, you know, going insane back and forth like that. And so, um, and this is the cake of that Hue Loco yarn. I, I love this. It's very, it's very speckly. There's that one. I will just be accumulating more things on this table. <laughs> It's, I'm, I'm getting my use out of this poor little table here. My second work in progress is a pair of vanilla socks. And if you guys have not knitted socks before, I would highly recommend you go check out Crazy Sock Lady. I This is my third pair of socks that I've ever knitted. And one, I love knitting socks now. But two, her tutorial is really great. She has them. Um, a tutorial called Vanilla Socks, and you can pick either the um, version on double pointed needles, which is what I do, or the version that's on um, nine inch circulars. And she does a great job explaining like everything to you. But I have one sock done, and then I have I have finished the cuff on the second sock. And again, you can see I'm using um, double pointed needles, and have started um, the leg of this sock. So. The only thing that I changed is her pattern calls for one by like one by one ribbing. Um, so like one knit, one purl, one knit, one purl. I'm doing um, two by two ribbing because my one by one ribbing always looks like absolute trash. Um, I don't know if anyone else has that problem, but just increasing it to be a two by two, it makes it look a lot um, better, a lot more smooth in my opinion. So I'm doing that. And this yarn is under my umbrella from Pretty Twisted Yarns, and she does a lot of self-striping yarn. I want her, uh, I want her, um, her Hey You're Crazy Witch skein, which is um, Halloween colors, uh, like purple. It has like purple, green, and orange, and black, and it's also very beautiful. Um, and she has a Mrs. Claus colorway too, which is um, like it's your classic Christmas, um, like dark green, red like ivory and then like a pink color which mm, I like that one but these are this, I love her yarn it's so vibrant like you look at like it is just vibrant and it's so squishy it's just it's so soft it's amazing so yeah highly recommend her I was just gonna leave this other sock there so <laughs> on my lap um so those are my two work in progresses that I have knitting wise because I do not knit as much as I do um, with cross stitch, but I have some yarn stash. Um, I will start with my things that I am not going to make into socks, which is like literally two things of yarn that I have. 
Um, this is Ella Ray Superwash Merino Wool. And I got this from Wool Warehouse. Uh, I think I got like six skeins of it, but I want to do, I think, the um, the campsite cardi, which again, I'll try to insert a picture of it. It's super squishy. It's It was not that expensive um, because I, I really love like the fancy hand dyed yarns, but if I'm having to order like sweater quantity of them, if I have to order like eight skeins of yarn, I really don't want to pay like $30 a piece for them. Like that would be something, you know, I might do every once in a while, but um, like as a general rule, I try to order less expensive yarn. Like it's still nice. It's still merino wool. Like it's nice. Um, but yeah, it's almost, it's black, but it's almost like a greeny has like a greeny undertone to it. So yeah, I'm thinking about making a campsite party with this. And I have a bunch of skeins of this, so that should not be a problem. Um, this cake of yarn, I don't know what I want to do with this. This is Malabrigo um, sock yarn. And I just, I got this, this, yeah, this cake is kind of wound a little bit funkily. I'm sorry. Um, but I just got this because I love the colors. I will, I, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I just have it. And what will I do with it? I don't know. <laughs> um, it'll be a surprise to me and you when I figure out what I want to do with this one. But yeah, all this, it looks like a sunset. It's gorgeous. Um, and this tag does not have like, I, maybe I'm just blind. Oh yeah. Okay. Maybe this is the colorway. Maybe that's the colorway. Possibly. I don't know. Oop. Be flat. Eight, eight, six. Maybe. I don't know. I can't, I could not find any like other colorway information on this tag. So yeah, hopefully that's it. All right, um, all the rest of the skeins of yarn that I have are for socks. Um, I went off the deep end. I really loved doing the socks and they're really quick. Um, or I say really quick. They're quicker than like a sweater or something like that. Um, so I have this, guys, from Turtle Pearl Yarns. This is the colorway Joy. And look at that. These are just like neon fun, you know, like, okay. If I'm going to knit myself socks, they're going to have to be like fun colors, you know, like I, my husband was like, oh, you should knit me some socks. And I was like, you know, like what color, you know, what, like, what do you want? You know, like what colors and like stuff like that. And he was like, oh yeah, just like black. And I was like, you just want like plain black socks? You know, like, and he was like, yeah, I mean, that's what I wear. And like, I was like, but that's not any fun. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. And I get like, you know, he's a dude and he just wants like plain black socks. But like, this is more my thing of like having all of the funky, beautiful colors. And like, yeah, will I probably ever wear these in public? Probably not. But you know, will I absolutely enjoy looking at them and wear them all the time inside? Of course, like, yes. Um, but yeah, and these I like too because they come in two separate skeins. Um, and so I guess her thing is that you can knit, like one, you can knit both socks at one time if you want, and the stripes are for sure going to coordinate if you, as long as you start from the same end of both of these skeins. So yeah, super cute. Um, I actually wanted to get the one of this that had a um, purple mini skein with it, but didn't get there in time, so I just got this one, which this one will be gorgeous too. This one is very fall, very, very, very fall. Look at this log cabin fiber co. And this is in this is the pumpkin patch sock set. Look at this. Look at that. Look at this beautiful speckly cream yarn over here. Like that's just 
that's just gorgeous and i think i want to do um i have the pattern for the apple orchard socks which i will try to insert a picture of here and i think the this set would be beautiful for that just beautiful fall colors Um, this one, this is another one from Log Cabin Fiber Co. Because obviously I couldn't just order, you know, like one skein of yarn. Like who does that? Um, and this is their Fairy Christmas sock set. And this is just gorgeous. Again, I love their coordinating minis. They're so cute and they match so well. Oh, that's just, oof. And I, I don't know what pattern I want to do um, with these yet, but we'll see. I, I'm sure I'm sure I'll come up with something. I have so many patterns um, saved in like my Instagram bookmarks that I've seen that I'm like, I want to do that. I want to do that. So I'm sure I will find one of those to go with this. Okay. These next three. Um, yarn skeins that I have are specifically for patterns that are in the unofficial Harry Potter Knits um, magazine, which you cannot find in print anymore, which I couldn't find in print either, but you can buy it. Um, I forget where, but I will put the link in the description. I'll just, you know, say like where to find your unofficial Harry Potter Knits, and then I'll put the, um, the link in the description to that. So it, I got it as like a PDF magazine, but this and I, I'm gonna have to plug this a bit because this is my local yarn kiosk <laughs> um, she um, this is from the knitting artist she dyed this just for me you can see there's like a little Natalie sticker yeah but um, I asked her to dye me a skein of this in her sock weight yarn um, and the socks that I want this skein for, I will try to insert a picture of here. Um, and they are, I believe it's like the Triwizard socks or Dragon's Egg socks or something like that. But they have a lot of little like Harry Potter motifs in them. And Knitting Artist makes a lot of beautiful yarn. She is local to the Bryan College Station area. And she has a little um, kind of booth inside of the frame gallery in downtown Bryan. So if you guys are local or if you're in the area, um, yeah, check her out. She has really, she has gorgeous yarns, y'all. She also has a website, I believe it's theknittingartist.com, or you can just look up The Knitting Artist on Google. And she actually does paintings too. So like she will paint things and then take like, colors out of her paintings and dye yarns to match so they are beautiful like look at that gorgeous yellow color but yeah check her out she is really and she is very nice i've talked to her a few times and she's a very nice lady so go check her out um this one oh no i lost my sticker <laughs> this one is from a spectacular Ooh spectacular yarns and this was a um, one-of-a-kind skein and this one I want to use this for the herbology socks from unofficial Harry Potter knits and they have like again I'll try to insert a picture but if I fail miserably um, they are like kind of these leafy lacy looking um, socks you know for herbology the study of you know wizarding plants right so yeah just this beautiful green greeny color gorgeous and this one i don't have the tag for this i know this was a one-of-a-kind skein i think it was it was called like dream yarn or dreams i want to say um, but again, this was a one-of-a-kind skein, and I want to do the Narcissa socks in this color, which you really, the camera is not, 
getting this across very well but um it's actually like it is dark gray but it actually has kind of a greeny like a green undertone to it and i think this is like perfect for narcissa socks which again i will try to insert a picture of but It's like this greeny, purpley gray. It's very Slytherin looking is what I'm trying to say. Um, it's beautiful and I want to make those socks with this. And I'm thinking of either starting the Narcissa socks or the Apple Orchard socks with this during October. I, want, I need to finish the set that I already have going, which kind of my rule with myself at this point is, um, and I think Shiloh at X Stitch MD does this too, where like you can only have one project of a certain type going at one point. So like if I have socks going, I can't start more socks until I finish that pair. Um, or like, you know, with a sweater or something. But um, yeah, I think I might start one of these two afterwards and then I'll try to finish that. And then I'm definitely starting this guy because Christmas is right around the corner after Halloween, right? So these guys are definitely going after that. All right, that is all of my yarn stash and cross stitch stash and all of that type of crazy stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, um, you know, seeing all of my stuff. I hope you guys again saw something that you like maybe or a new designer or a new yarn dyer that you, you want to go check out. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys again in maybe a week-ish, maybe two. We'll see how it goes. We'll see if I can actually get a video filmed um, sometime before we leave um, next weekend. So yeah, thank you guys so much. Have a great rest of your weekend. Bye.